INEC has assured that it is ready to conduct a peaceful, free and fair election in Anambra. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakub said these are the special consultative meeting with chairmen and leaders of all the political parties at his headquarters in Abuja on Friday. Emmanuel Heijini's report is presented from our studios. This meeting was to further assure all political parties of INEC's readiness to deliver a peaceful election in Anambra on November 6. Political parties are here with INEC to have a roundtable conversation. This is just before the final briefing next week. Then, all stakeholders which will include traditional leaders, civil society organizations, candidates for the elections and political parties at the state level will be briefed on modalities of the election. Professor Mahmoud assured that sensitive and non-sensitive materials have arrived in Anambra states. Consequently, out of the 5,720 polling units in Anambra state, 86 representing 1.5% have no voters at all. As such, the commission says it will not be deploying personnel and materials to these polling units. The commission will not be deploying personnel and materials to these polling units. Furthermore, 894, that is 15.6% of the polling units, have between 1 and 49 voters election will hold in these polling units. Even where we have one voter in a polling unit will deliver personal and materials to conduct election for that voter. It's the voter's democratic right to vote in election. In his response, Chairman African National Congress, who is also the Chairman Inter-Party Advisory Council, Leonard Nzenwa, raised concerns over the state of insecurity in Anambra. The truth is that the people of Anambra are scared stiff and have been cowed to stay indoors for the greater part of the days in the last few months. You see this on their faces, you sense this in their air, they breathe. You behold fear-stricken population fighting to fend for themselves in the wave of brutal and conscienceless attack on their lives and property. Professor Mahmoud promised to brief EPAC on any security assurances from the security agencies and the outcome of his interactive meeting. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.